Hi guys, it's Ramina Math Person. Today I'll be going over question 132 on SO exam P. So pause the video real quick and try this problem yourself. Okay, assume you're attentive, let's just dive right in. So a store has 80 modern in its inventory, 30 coming from source A, and remainder coming from source B. So 50. Of the modern of the moderns from source A, 20% are defective. And of the moderns coming from source B, 0.08, right? 8% are defective. Calculate the probability that t exactly 2 out of 5 are defective. And this is without replacement. So again, I always say when you say without replacement, you know this is a hypergeometric distribution. And that's because, let's say you have 30 and you pick 2. This probability is different from 1 picking 19, 29, right? So that's one of the reasons why we have to use the hypergeometric probability formula. But then honestly, this is not too bad. Because if 2 out of the 5 are defective, that means one, um, 3 out of 5 are not defective. So, and then how many are we picking? We're picking, out of 80 choices, we're picking 5. Okay, okay. And then what is the probability that 2 are defective? Well, from A, if there is 30, defect, 30 of them and 20% are defective, then we know that there are six defective ones here. From here, if there's 50 and 0.08%, eight percent is defective, then we know four are defective. So in total, the amount of defective that we have is 10, right? 10 defective. And out of 10 defective, how many are we picking? We want it to be exactly two out of the 10 defective are defected. <laughs> and out of, if there's 10 defected, that means there must be 70 not defected. And how many are we looking that's not defected? That's three. So that's, here we go. And a good way to double check for hypergeometric distribution is to make sure that the bottom half, three, two, three and two, that adds up to five here. And then 70 and 10, that adds up to 80. So we know that we set this hypergeometric distribution correctly. All right, so plugging that into my calculator, we have five, four, seven, four, zero times 45 divided by this really big number 2440016 which is equal to about 0 0.1024 0 0.102 which is our answer C. If you guys have any questions feel free to leave them down below otherwise as always make sure you like subscribe and share. Bye!